a 13-year-old raped and robbed in New York City in a park in broad daylight. Then we have Rachel Morin, mom of five, out for a run, brutally sexually assaulted, raped, and murdered. Then we have Lakin Riley, out for a job, uh, a jog nursing student. And we never got the full report on that, but I'll come back to this. Um, apparently her head was bashed in, unrecognizable. Let me put a warning out as we talk about these issues. And uh, that story kind of just went away, the state of her body. Also the state of Rachel Morin, the mama five, her body. Then we have, remember Kayla Hamilton, 22 year old killed. What do they all have in common? Illegal. I am not going to call them migrants, immigrants. I'm going to call them illegal aliens because they are in our country illegally. The warriors we work with, plenty of good immigration attorneys that we know that tell me it takes seven, eight, even nine years to do everything properly to come to this country, our great country, America, to become a citizen. So these people are just, I don't even want to call them people, these criminals. Because remember, we are not talking about the families or the women with children we see, because after all, as I always remind you, you and I, we'd probably be coming here too if we thought we'd get housing and education and things for our children. We're talking about the criminals. And the people we work with at the Warriors uh, in law enforcement have been warning for the last two years, this is the tip of the iceberg. This will play out. Every state is a border state. After all, Rachel Moore, 1,800 miles from the nearest border. They've been warning and nobody wanted to listen. Then we have the current occupant of the White House saying just yesterday that, uh, and that would be Biden. I don't like to say the, the name even. Um, you know, today I feel very impassioned about talking about these issues because we are in for the fight of our lives in election year. And, and hear me out on this one. It is not even about politics. I'm separating this out. It is about human rights abuses. It is about the raping and robbing of our girls and women. It is also, now listen up about this one, the raping of these illegal alien women who have come here because from what I'm hearing from multiple sources is once they are here, a large majority of them are forced into sex trafficking, whether it is their boyfriends and husbands or still the debt bondage from the cartels that have very easily brought them here because, you know, that's the business. The cartels working hand in hand with our U.S. government. Biggest human trafficking operation ever in the entire world. I think people, people in June of 2024 should be talking about these issues. And this is what we are exposing our youth to. And we ask why there's a youth mental health crisis um, when, you know, they're seeing all of this. All you have to do is walk around New York City. And I'm in shock with things I see. However, I will be here fighting for my city. So I want to ask you, why? Why is this being allowed? It is a very clear cut picture of what the current administration is doing in this election year. They announced yesterday a path to, I'm going to call it amnesty, because it in no way they're saying we'll, we'll ease up uh, the border. Americans do not understand the border. Well, I'm here to tell you, Americans understand the border very, very well, because it's, it's impacting. It's impacting our lives on a daily basis. And if it's not in your community yet, it will be there soon, or you just don't know about it yet because it's there. Now, the cartels are working hand in hand with the criminal gangs such as MS-13, which have been in the United States for the last 13 or so years. So they've come together with these criminal Mexican cartels operating in all 50 states. No one is exempt. So we've got that going on. We've got, I don't even know, every single day, tens of thousands pouring over with San Diego being the new hotspot. And when I see any kind of video that, that I find online, I'm not seeing women and teenage girls and families and all that. I am seeing young men. That is what I am seeing. Or I am seeing uh, groups of Chinese people, uh, primarily men that are very well-dressed with nice suitcases that look like they just got off an airplane. 
didn't look like they put up any struggle, you know, walking through miles and miles of desert in the hot, hot mountainous sun coming through Mexico and then into San Diego. But what I want to say is that Biden saying 500,000, he's giving amnesty to the spouses of uh, people that are already here and 50,000 children, because after all, he doesn't want to separate the children. It's that old song and dance again. We know what's going on here. That 500,000, and now I will get a little pol political, will go directly into votes in November. This we know. And I am so proud of my fellow New Yorkers, a man and a woman in particular, who saw this horrific criminal. And I'm going to tell you, the minute I saw his image, this thing that raped and robbed the 13-year-old girl in Queens, 3.30 in the afternoon after school when she was there with her friend, held up some sort of machete type thing, ordered them into the woods, uh, and, and raped this young girl. Can you imagine? This is what nobody really talks about. The repercussions for the rest of her life, this stranger raping her out in the woods, a child, and the boy, the fellow student, um, w was there and forced to endure and watch this horrific, he, th this creep stole their cell phones and told them they had to wait 20 minutes before contacting anybody and they ran back to their school. The minute I saw the image of him with his tattoo, because the tattoos, my friends, are, are, are giveaways. Uh, they will wear crowns. They will have different uh, animals. This, this one had a boar. Um, I said to myself, because after all, you know, you always have to be correct online. I can't go too far because child sexual abuse material is allowed, see Sam, but I might say the wrong thing and who knows? So I thought this is an illegal, this is an illegal, this is an illegal, and sure enough. And I am proud of my fellow New Yorkers. Good for them. There were posters all over this neighborhood. Images on all the local news stations as well as national. Um, well, the ones that I watch, I don't know about some of the other ones. And this one young man said, you know, I think I've seen this guy. And he hung around around this bodega, which is a small grocery store. That's what they call them here in New York City. And he hung around a little bit for th this bodega. And at nighttime, apparently, he saw this guy go in. And he waited for him to come out. And then he confronted him, vigilante style. Now, the warriors, we are peaceful warriors. I am all for this because, after all, if we have a mayor, if we have a, a government that is not taking care of our own, then we have to appropriately take steps ourselves. But we are not going to have our children raped and robbed or any of our people. You need to keep an eye on all of this because it affects each and every one of us. Our taxes are going to pay for all of these criminals that are coming, most of them, this uh, criminal gangs out of Venezuela, Trendiaragua. I did a video on that, so I suggest all of you go back a couple of videos and look at that. You have to know what's going on. And we have to protect our children and our families and our communities. We have to. We can no longer just ignore things because it's up to us. So I'm asking all of you, as school is done or about to be done with your children, that you brush up on safety in your community. Because after all, um, the 13-year-old, yes, it was New York, a city, but Rachel Morin, no. Ohio, Lake and Riley, no. These were other places, not big cities, remote places. And these people, all these criminals, I don't even want to call them people, seem to have these uh, extensive criminal records. So we need to protect our kids, talk to our kids appropriately. No action is, is too much to, to protect. I, I suggest also women always carrying keys in their hands, understanding three or four simple steps in self-defense. I'll be posting a, a video. I have, I have a couple of things on our Warriors Facebook and Twitter. We really have to address these things and we're not scaring the kids. This is the world we live in. So think about all this. Think about our country. Think about being an American where we're allowing people to sleep on the streets. We're allowing our vets and our black communities to just be abused and ignored. We are allowing, um, you know, the school systems, all of these things. 
think about this when you vote. And I am in no way telling you who to vote for. I am not of a party. But how are we going to make America America again, right? America again. So to each and every one of you, remember community creates change. That is our hashtag at the Warriors. There are a lot of, I'm still a firm believer in the pendulum is swinging back ever so slightly for whatever reason. And we've been rallying for it here at the Warriors. uh, We want phones kept out of the classrooms. Now, what that means is this cannot be, right now, it's not a federal law, a state law, But school district by school district or school by school can adapt their own policies about how they want to operate in their schools. If you go to the Warriors under Take Actions, we lay out a plan, how you can approach your school superiors and present the plan or get a couple other parents or guardians along with you to go in as a group. Because remember, there's power in numbers. And just yesterday, it was announced in California, the second largest after New York City, uh, L.A. Unified School District that Governor Gavin Newsom does not want phones in the schools. Now, of course, I think that is him trying to get ahead of the pack, be the leader. I'm going to leave that for another program. However, I'll break it down and say that will help our students. But let's see now, because I just had a discussion with somebody. Let's see where's the follow up, because these things are announced. Everybody jumps on board, press releases, online, uh, cable, streaming, news, whatever. And then there never seems to be follow, follow up. Things aren't implemented, right? Just think about it. I had another discussion yesterday about these illegal women being brought over. And frankly, they're just kind of dumped here. When the report comes out that only 2,000 of these people have been given any kind of jobs in New York City, when we have in excess of 100,000 that have come here, that is just shocking because where are these jobs? I mean, they're doing food delivery, cleaning, things like that, where, where there's no plan in place. You know, you need to bring people over. You need to assimilate them. You need to give them perhaps medical, psychological, all kinds of things. And then hearing and hearing from multiple sources that these women are forced in cars in front of these family hotels with sex trafficking, with people lined up, and they're supposed to be the mothers of these small children I see them with during the day. And I'm hearing about other neighborhoods as well. Who's behind that? Their boyfriends, their husbands, the cartels. What what is our country doing? So stay in your lane, educate yourselves, take a deep breath, and always follow lynnswarriors.org. You can always write to me and ask questions, lynn at lynnswarriors.org. Please watch our videos. Please share them. Please subscribe to our channel. We want to build truly community as we go into the second half of 2024. Facing 2025, we have a lot of exciting, exciting initiatives, including our brand new collaboration with an art studio called Paint Me Bear down in Soho, south of Houston, for those of you not familiar with what Soho means, and art, music, nature. Uh, working with engineering, all those type of things we know from various studies expand the mind, the brain, children, youth, all people can do better, critically analyze, critically think when they explore the arts, they're involved in the arts. So Paint Me Bear Studio, I'm going to put that in the body of, of this. If you're visiting New York and would like to visit Paint Me Bear, let me know. I will, I will gladly, gladly set it up for you and, uh, It will be, but don't tell anybody, for you, a warrior free. That's F-R-E-E. So let's all take a breath, you know, take control, because we're the leaders, not the criminals, and let's take action. Remember, each and every day, hug your children, love your children, family most important. Don't react create, keep an eye on what's going on. August 21st, if you happen to be in New York City or you are a New Yorker, we are having National Fentanyl Awareness and Prevention Day in Times Square. We are going to have a lot of parents whose children have died or families have been impacted. We'd love for you to join us from 12 to 2 p.m. We must keep up 
I guess the fight, I guess the fight is what it has come down to. So remember, follow us, Lens Warriors on Facebook and Twitter, also on Instagram. Numbers do matter. Algorithms do. You know, let's use algorithms for good. The more of you that watch, the more of these videos will be shown. As opposed to, we always talk about it, the Warriors, which is true, studies show algorithms are bad. Online for a lot of the kids, uh, where big tech is, is forcing dangerous content their way. And also, one last take action before I let you go, and that is as we are facing the end of the session for the 118th Congress, and today is June 19th, I still need every warrior to urge their representatives to vote Kids Online Safety Act, COSA. Again, I'll put the information in the body of this video. As the session is coming to the end, and I'm embarrassed, frankly, because I am a constituent of House Majority Leader Senator Chuck Schumer. He needs to bring this to a vote on the floor. We have done all the work. It is a bipartisan bill to keep kids safe online. Don't sell their information online. Final step, and we got to get it there. If we don't get it in, in this session, we have to start at the ground floor. Again, it is the simplest of guardrails to protect children. So we need each and every one of you to still, and we have at last count, I believe, 70 co-sponsors, both Democrats and Republicans in the House supporting this. And we need more of you. And that is a take action that is so easy for you. You just find out who represents you and it will direct you where you can email, you can text, you can call, you can write a letter. Email, it takes a few seconds. Do it. Do it for our precious kids. Keep an eye on the kids. Because right now, do you know what your children are doing online? Because the predators, I guarantee you, do. Community creates change. Remember, each and every day, go out and be a warrior.